Crafty Mavens! Welcome to the Crafty Maven Getaway channel and this is Hannah Lemieux with you today and I am going to be making an art party Friday project. So I really like the concept of art journaling but I also really like that 12 by 12 size and I don't have a big art journaling book. I just have like a small sketchbook that I use for art journaling sometimes. And so I thought I would just use a 12 by 12 paper. So I have that background paper and then I'm going to layer some of that cardstock and I put gesso on here. I didn't show you guys cuz it's just me put I just put gesso on. Now I'm going to be using some gelatos and pretty much what I'm doing is taking that piece that was the inspiration piece that is like ocean type feel and trying to make that kind of on the page. So I have different, the that's the sand type color that I'm working on right now. And then I'll be adding some blues and like teal colors to show like the water part. So. I am also going to use some watercolor, and this watercolor is the kind that is in the tubes that you add water to it. I like this kind, but I find it a little bit harder to use only because the colors are in this pack are a lot more muted and more like your traditional colors, which if you were doing lots of like watercolor on canvases or whatever. I think that this would be a lot better, but I find it really, really hard to like, even to make that sand color, I added a lot of white. I added quite a bit of water, um, some yellow and some of like, I think it's okra or something like that type of color. And I'm just adding this around to where I put that gold gelato. Um, I really want to bring out the color of sand, even though there's not sand in my photo that I'm going to be using on this, because I am going to be using a regular photo. I kind of thought that this would make it a little bit more interesting, is using a real photo that I have, and I'm also going to be doing some calligraphy type, well, not real calligraphy, but watercoloring with words. <laughs> so my attempt at really bad calligraphy type of work on here and as I was I'm going to be writing a verse so that kind of was like my thought process even going into this part is I knew I was going to be doing that so I kind of was thinking about having the middle spot be a little bit more empty because I wasn't sure what I was going to do on here and I'm adding blues because I really want to brighten it up at this point now I have a lot of that gold and I like that gold because it does kind of make it look a little bit like sand but I at this point right now I feel like it's too dark and I don't like that it looks really vintagey and I I don't mind that look but I'm not trying to go for vintage so but I'm um, keep going because you never know sometimes at this point you might like something and then it changes so I'm adding some acrylic paints now, and I have gold and yellow color, or a gold, a tan, and I think yellow, and I mix those kind of together to make like that sandy color, and I'm going to use this Heidi Swap stencil, and I just use a foam applicator. I really like that. You can add a little bit of paint, and it look pretty good. So here's my next layer, and I'm using some a reinker and an ink pad so I have cracked pistachio and a blue and I really like these two colors together I do them all the time on my layouts so I kind of have an idea of what it's already going to look like it's going to be more of a teal color which is part of what you see in the ocean and I love the swirled stencil by the crafters workshop I only wish that it was bigger so I didn't have to move it around. But I'm just going to put it in some random spots because I want it to kind of look a little bit more like 
the ocean because the ocean is in my picture. Which reminds me that I need to make sure that I put on my that layout where that picture was taken because I didn't do that. So that's the picture. And it's a picture of blowhole, which pretty much is where the lava had come and went into the ocean and then hardened. But because of different air pockets, the ocean comes up through these rocks and it spurts out water, especially like during the high, the high tides and stuff. It is amazing. It is really awesome. You can't get that close because the, this spot in particular is really strong and a lot of water will come up and it sprays. And so what I did is I altered the picture so that it was blurry in some places and not blurry in other places. So it really highlights that spraying effect. I really like how it turned out the way I edited it. So I'm using this stencil. This is also from the Crafters Workshop. And I, it's one of my favorite stencils. I love the design on it. And I'm using those dots that kind of go up because it reminds me of how the water comes up through. So I want it to kind of mimic that. And that's kind of where I am. And I'm really trying to use blues. And I'm using some paint. Now, this paint is older paint. Because, well, I say older paint. I had used it on my Bible because at this point, I got brave. And I decided that I'm going to do some stuff in my Bible. So I had already used some stencil in my Bible. And you'll see I'm going to add some more stuff. So you'll get to a chance to see me working in my Bible as well which, like I said, this is the first time that I did it. And I was really scared, which is why I started off with this layout in the first place. If Maybe if I hadn't been so scared, I would have just dove in and just did stuff on my Bible. But I was really afraid because I don't have a journaling Bible. I have a Bible that has, like, stuff on the sides, but it has a gap. And, I mean, if you – I don't know. It was just really, really hard. And I know that's what kind of art journaling is about, is about getting over that fear of that it's not going to be perfect. Because this, I will tell you right now, is not perfect. So here's my Bible, and I tried to get close up that as I could. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I still have a little bit of a cold. So I'm using some black ink on this part, and this is a words that say this is the story or yeah this is a story and I use black some black ink and then I'm adding some white with a little bit of that blue just over top so it kind of has this blue gray type of color and I really like the way that turned out in my bible so I'm gonna do this on my page as well in a few different places but I'm adding that arrow too so, and it becomes different colors in different sections just because of the way that I use the colors. And I have a dark acrylic blue, I have some white, and I think I have some pearlized white in there as well. So there's like three colors mixed. And I like to do that. And I'm adding it to the edges because at this point I kind of feel like, one, I did way too many splatters. <laughs> And it feels a little dark to me, and I really want to lighten it up, but I was afraid to add too much white, and I wished I didn't. I wish I added a little bit more. So I'm, now at this point, I'm adding matte medium over top, and I really like to do this when I'm thinking that certain parts of how I have something is how I want it to be, because some of the stenciling work I did with stamp pads and stuff and I don't want this to come up if I add more water now I had sprayed a spray on there and like a gold type of spray and I didn't care for it so I kind of used my paper towel to blot it up a little bit so it wasn't as dark and I'm thinking that I want the edges around this cardstock to be a little bit smaller and so I'm also going to use some of this paint that I have over to the side actually I think that was one of the watercolors I just put the watercolor there and then I'm going to add a little bit more acrylic paint and I'm using different color blues and teals just around the outside because I want to emphasize the outside because it's going to go on my layout so though I wished I would have used a little bit more white 
which I didn't really do. There's my son. He decided that he wanted to put his finger in it. <laughs> and there's the white. And I added a little bit of yellow because I'm thinking maybe I'll use a little yellow to lighten it up. Bad idea. But, you know, I was trying to think. At this point, I still was thinking that it was a little, uh, getting a little dark. So here I, I still have some of that white. And I'm going to use that. Um, it's like a stencil, but it's a screen. So screen print. I really like those. And those work really well with acrylic paints. I thought that that might help lighten it up a little. And it's really hard to see. And actually, this works really, really nicely on here because it added something, but it was really faint. And so I didn't feel like it ended up being too much. I actually really like it on that side, and I wish I would have left it there. But I put it on the other side because I know that I'm going to do my journaling. And I'm thinking at this point that I'm going to put it underneath that this is my story. I find that that's a little too big, so I'm going to add just a little paint. And I don't have that darker blue, and I didn't feel like opening it. So I, didn't, I wish I did because I liked that other blue on the edges. There's a piece of Dear Lizzie paper, and I decide that I'm going to add that just to brighten it up. I really thought it needed something to brighten it up. And I really like the way that that looks. It adds another layer of just something fun, and it really goes with the, those rocks. So I'm, I'm also using this matte medium to put down my photo, so that paper. And I'm trying to be really, really careful because I printed this photo at home. So it is on like an inkjet type of printer, and if it gets wet, forget, I'll have to reprint it, and I don't have any ink in blue. So I remembered that I have some of those transparencies and I had one that worked. It had like black stuff on the bottom, but it kind of went over where the rocks were. So it works really, really nice. And I just used my, my runner. So here I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll just use that, you know, yellow that I had, even though I didn't care for for it. I don't like how it turned out, but whatever. <laughs> I remembered that Moira had sent me a package and she gave me some ribbons and the blue is perfect for this layout. So I am adding this with my tiny attacher, which I really feel like the staples are big. I don't know what it is about it, but I use it to staple because I really like that natural or you know that other texture but it is still a little loose so I am going to use some matte medium just to hold it down a little bit better because I don't want it like going anywhere and I really like the way that that looks so and there's my bible and I have that out because in a minute I'm going to be doing my you know, watercolor work. And that sticker is from Amy Tangerine Finders Keeper, and it says brilliant. And I, and it's gold foil. It works perfectly. I love it. I'm going to use these letter stickers from Simple Stories. They're just random. I use some of the box ones because I don't have all of the wood grain. I wish I had all the wood grain. I think that would have looked really nice. But I didn't, so... That's okay. And I think that's the one thing about art journaling is, is sometimes you just have to give yourself permission that it's okay. And I think that's where when I did the stuff in my Bible, when I added the, I added a line in my Bible that says, which is kind of like this thought process behind this whole art journal page. It says, I was the craftsman at his side. So I am using Proverbs 8, 27 through like 30 as what I'm going to be writing. So that's what I'm spelling out right now. And pretty much it talks about the ocean. And I'll read it in a second because I'm going to start using my paintbrush. So I like to use a really thin paintbrush when and long when I do like watercolor and I'm writing words out with it. 
Now, with that said, I find that a sturdier one is better, like when the bristle is sturdier, and the point comes to a really good point. Mine, I'm not sure if it's because of the way I've used it or because I've used it for different things or it's just not thin enough for me. I find that it's not working as nicely all the time for me. So sometimes it works great and sometimes it doesn't. And I had a hard time with it on this one because I wanted my words just a little bit smaller maybe. And it just what kept coming on like the brush wasn't as thin as what I would have liked it to be. And I actually have a pen, a marker pen that is a brush pen. And I was thought about getting it for this, but I was afraid that it was going to be too dark. And I mix blue and black together. And the verse that I wrote out says, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep, when he gave the ocean its boundaries so the waters could not overstep his command, and when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was a craftsman at his side. And I really liked that because one, it, that picture is like perfect for those. And also it made me think about the fact that I have, especially in this past couple of years, become really crafty and become really like artsy and that how, you know, before we were even born, God had instilled that love for nature and that love to do this kind of stuff in me even before I was born. Like before I was born, he knew that this was what I was going to do, that this was going to bring me joy. And I've just, just really enjoyed it. So here I'm using this stencil because I thought, oh, I need more white because like I said, I'm still trying to lighten it up. And of course, probably using a black or gray type of um, like watercolor for the words didn't help any. And I did add a little bit of blue to it, but I felt like the blue actually probably took away from all the blues and teals that I used on the page. So I don't really care for that part, but that's okay because I don't have to love it. And I love what I did in my Bible. So for me, that's, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with saying, okay, I learned something. I have tons of these shells from all the different times that we've gotten shells, you know, on our travels at the beach. So I decided to take some of the smaller ones that I had and put them on, on here. I mean, why not? That's kind of what this project, you know, this type of art journaling is about is taking things that you have and using them. So I was going to use the matte medium and I didn't like the way that it was sitting. So I pull out my glossy accents and I go to town. I use quite a bit. I mean, I'm trying not to be afraid of it because you know what? The more is going to, the more I use, the more it's going to hold down. I mean, I'm hoping that none of it comes up later on. <laughs> so I just kind of put it around, scatter them around the photo. I mean, I wish that I had had maybe some better ones or ones that I could have uh, picked just for this, but that's okay. Um, I realized that I wanted to add a little bit of like gray gelatos to that black and gray and white Dear Lizzie paper. So here I am coming to an end and I am just using some sequins. I thought that this would help finish it off and just give it a little touch that was kind of me because I love sequins. And then that's going to be it. I am going to be showing you close-ups of my Bible as well as this layout. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked seeing something maybe a little bit different. And know that art journaling and this kind of stuff, you just don't have to do in an art journal. You can take out your Bible and a verse that pops out to you. You know, just pick a line and do something fun. So I hope you guys are inspired to do something different and I will see you guys later. Bye.